In other news tonight, Seattle Public Schools sent an email to all families saying a delay in the start of school is, quote, likely. 6,000 teachers are currently in the middle of a strike authorization vote, and many teachers are gathering at Judkins Park in Seattle right now. That's where we find Fox 13's Matt Markovich. And Matt, school was scheduled to start on Wednesday, but that's not, not looking very likely, is it? Well, nobody told me that they don't want to go back to school. Everybody wants to go back to school, but both sides, the district and the teachers here, saying, uh, you know, they want to avoid a strike, but it looks like we're heading that way. And just an indication right behind me, several hundred teachers had gathered here uh, starting at 3 o'clock. A lot of them have left, and these are the stragglers that are left from the teachers' union. They came here to make some signs in preparation for a potential strike. On Wednesday morning, the first day of school, the teachers are in the middle of a five-day-long five strike vote and have until 9 a.m. tomorrow to vote. The results will be announced late in the morning. I just really, really hope that we don't have to strike because nobody wants that. But when several hundred teachers gathered to make picket signs for a potential strike starting Wednesday morning, that's not good. I feel hopeful going into this week that... We all want the same thing for our students and teachers, that it has to be sustainable. One of the bargaining issues is more support for special education teachers like Dustin Cole. I am skeptical that we're going to start on time um, because there's like such a massive need within our special ed classrooms, especially for our students with moderate to severe learning disabilities. And it seems that the district really wants to pull away supports. Both sides have been meeting. This past week, we were making a lot of movement, um, and we remain optimistic that we can reach a tentative agreement. But on Friday, the Seattle Education Association, representing the 6,000 teachers, turned down Seattle Public Schools' request for legal mediation in an effort to reach a contract agreement. Then on Sunday, the teachers' union also rejected to sign this Memorandum of Understanding, offered on the same day by the district, to allow school to start as scheduled on Wednesday, while agreeing to continue to bargain. So why reject the MOU? The MO, so that's a distraction, honestly. It's not going to move us closer to an agreement. Now the district has sent out this email to all families saying the delay of the start of school is likely, adding if school is delayed, we are working on a plan to provide pickup meals for students. We are also reaching out to community child care providers to help support our families. We expect after-school athletics will continue even if there is a delay in the start of school. And then there's the matter of buses, with two bus companies working to fulfill commitments to schedules that were sent to families last week. The district saying today, we do not yet know about potentially suspended routes. We're all thinking about our families and our students, and, and we understand the impact that that has on families. Um, I wouldn't be here if what the district was proposing was not unconscionable. And we know that both bargaining teams for the district as well as the teachers were in the same building, the John Stanford Educational Building in downtown Seattle to meet today, but we don't know if there was actually any bargaining yet. The results, again, of the strike vote will be announced late tomorrow morning. Live in Seattle, Matt Markovich, Fox 13 News.